So hello everyone, this is Adam Me Home School. Today I will be showing you how how to create a project like this that uh it's a game like this. Yes. So uh let's jump right into it. So here I am. So first thing you wanna do is uh name name your project something. Uh maybe I'll just I'll just do it like that for now. And uh, first thing you want to do is uh, choose a scribe, but uh, I think the easiest thing, so I'll just do uh, the player scribe will be the captain now, and I will main the scribe player, so, so it's simple here. Yeah. And uh, you might want to create another scribe, which is the ground, and something like that. Or uh, make uh, any color you want to, but I'm going to make it green. Uh, put some backdrop so it doesn't look too, too, you know, too bad there. And uh, now you're starting to kill the player. So first of all, you say, one click, uh, go to the position where it's called the start, and I will say it to be minus uh, 195 and uh, minus 85. Yes, that's what I'll do, and uh, and I'll. Now do that, and I will say that forever that the y the the y position y position is like the upwards and the back yeah. So if I so if I make this like 100, it will go up. And if it's like minus 85, which is the spawn, it will go down. Something like that. Uh, so I will say that if the y position is more than minus 85 then it will say that um, change y by uh, I, will, I will say it's going to be 5 and uh, you will have a delay going down by 0 0.1 seconds so yes so now if I do this you can't do anything with it because I didn't I didn't code to say that it will jump so now you will need to go to when the space key press it's in the events um, change y by about 50 so uh, so the space it goes up the space it goes up but uh it changes y so maybe let me see more than change y by 5 so uh you, you this is, uh, wait, this is not how it's supposed to work. Uh, set Y. Right, so it goes up. But, well, let me see. Wait, this is not how it's supposed to work. This is not how it's supposed to work. Eventually. Ah, uh, well, um, I figured out, we swapped, it says that if the Y position, if like minus 85 is more than y position it will go down something like that so on to the next step you just literally just need to say that when when b is wait what this is oh right yes this is d so d is pressed it moves moves forwards 10 steps so it, you see it would be very simple you could just do this but well, you need to make it backwards, and I don't think that's really smooth. So, so I'm just gonna make that one and one, and make that minus one. So uh, it will be a lot smoother if you talk about it. But well, it's gonna be really slow. So I need to, so you need to like make the variables, make the numbers here. Make it look smooth, so or else it's just like, oh, okay, this is now smooth. Wait, hold up, hold up. That's not that's how it's not supposed to work. Wait, all right. Well, all right. So here is the perfect number, I guess. So it doesn't really, doesn't really, you know, make it. This is really the color. It's not really that smooth, but uh, I will 
it will take some time for you to make it like you know the right right numbers and uh, now we'll just try to make it look really smooth now I will say that you would go repeat that three times now on to the next step you just you you don't have anything in this thing you you don't literally have anything in this in in this world so you might wanna make costumes so you just yeah yeah that feels uh, yeah that feels good now now I will say that it will rotate uh, so if A is pressed. Uh, and I will say go like that Point in the other direction to this direction minus 90 so uh, So here's how it works. It will go like this and goes back. Wait <laughs> What? <laughs> wait, wait. wait, hold up, hold up All right point in direction 90 so now so now you are have a uh, walking walk whatever this is so yeah so now you have a uh so this is how it works now i will explain the code so first of all when you click this thing it will set the rotation to left and right so as you can see it goes left and right when i turn 90 and minus 90 and it will say that forever if then it's more than 85 you can see the x right here it goes down to 85 so if it's more than 85 the y position it will go down then like for example it's minus minus what do you call it minus 75 it will go down uh, minus 1 it will go down because it's not minus 85 minus 85 is lesser than minus 1 because it's it's closer to zero or one you know and uh it will change the y direction so it it will make it go down by minus five like five y's per 0 0.01 second so it will take like one second to go down if it's you know wait i can <laughs> wait what so this is the next glitch the next one you might want to you might see like like whatever this is like you could just space jump so what you want to do is is um, you might want to say about so this is this is when broadcast comes in broadcast makes it easier to control so i would say while you're up i i, I am quite sorry from the back background uh, I don't know. So now uh, it will. So now you can control it like this. It, it will be. It will look kind of smoother because a broadcast message. Now wait, wait. Yes, it will look kind of smoother though. So you might want to use messages. And ah uh, uh, yes. Now. You need to start using prestige. So after you, so after like make something like this, make something like this. You might want to create obstacles, and I will make it like a green thingy thing. Well, it's, it's a green thingy thingy, of course. I don't know what it is. Maybe it'll, I will make it blue. So you might so first of all you're gonna make a object something like this and you're gonna place it all around now for this coding it's kind of complicated you will say that for first time it will go to hiding so first of all you will not see it but after this you will say that create clone myself and when I start as a clone so it will create a clone then when when the clo this is uh, when I start as clone is the program when the when it's clone and all clones should do the same and it will say that uh, go to I don't know what it is 
So you go. You need to go to uh, minus. 35 so i will set that to something like that and i will make it show too so now it'll be like this but so about cloning you don't need to like goddamn duplicate all these scribes and uh there's gonna be like 10 scribes per game no it's gonna be like so after that create another clone of myself and where they start as um, yeah so there will be two and uh, you go you go show and go to the another position it's like just make it show a bit uh this place so now you can you can use uh, one scribe in two in two different like you, you only use one scribe but there's like it looks like two you go show and move to this position now it's like this, but you only have one scribe so now comes the hard part oh god oh god no so so as you can see it could just literally walk through this thing whatever that is wait oh my god <laughs> what let me just do this thing yeah yeah let's do that yeah that feels better Oh well, just uh, make that 50. All right there. Uh, now you 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 need to make the script that if it's touching, it doesn't care anything. So if forever, if the scribe is touching. Touching the scribe to, I'll call that um, platforms. It will need. It will. So it, it's gonna be like this. So, oh god, my goodness! And uh, I will say else here. So this is how it works. If if it goes up more than the platform and it will say if at a time if it's touching the platforms then it's gonna yeah it's gonna do nothing about it <laughs> it's gonna do nothing about it yeah it's gonna do nothing about it yeah so as you can see it doesn't go down but it, if it's not touching the platform it will go down really simple this is like what i like the most about scratch it's, it's really simple well, you if you might wanna if if you want to create like games like Among Us, you might want to uh, put some efforts on 3D stuff because uh I uh, Scratch is 2D, but I like 3D games too. Yeah, something like that. E. Now, now you might want to make it look smooth. And I don't care. I don't get this. I will just make it look as smooth as I can. Well. Wait, what? <laughs> no, this is- wait, what? Wait, what? Hold up, wait. Oh, okay, okay. I understand him. <laughs> no. Right there. Oof. So there's part one of how you create the games on the next part i will see i will say that that on the next part i will show you how to make make it less errors something like that see you in the next video bye